So the other day, we're riding on the metro in Italy, and then all of a sudden, this girl behind me just decides to rustle my jimmies, just right there on the metro. My father standing right behind me. Allie, I remember this one time after Latin practice in seventh grade. I think you brought a scooter afterwards for our break. We were kind of scooting around in the parking lot. And I tried to impress you, so I tried to do a tail whip thing. I ended up jacking my ankle and the Achilles tendon. It hurt really, really bad. And I was like writhing on the ground and you stood there laughing your face off at my pain. And I, you know, as I was doing that, I said, well, you know, you're right, it's kind of funny. Hey guys. Did somebody say virgin? I've been here for 12 years with some of you, and Savannah, you know, I'm still here if you want me. I've been working out. Hey Rachel, boss is about to start. Yeah, hold on, I'm almost finished. You know, one time we heard Rachel say that to take a break from reading books, in school, she reads books. Jordan, for my first year of protocol, I was your partner, and I can honestly say that was one of my top four favorite protocols. The last 12 years here at the river, we have played our fair share of Mafia. I'd wager 500 games, give or take, plus or minus 100. Oh yeah, 100 here and there. And you see, when 12 people play a game, the same game, for 12 straight years, you pretty much know everyone's tactics. So, six girls. First of all, Allie Higby. Always a threat. Always. Just ask Cam, he'll tell you. You know, Rachel, when is she not Mafia? And when does she not geniusly win? Honestly, can't think of the time. You, you can't. Doesn't happen. Now, Kristen, very vocal. If, say, you're about to kill her, and she will tell you that you're going to lose if you do this, and that you'll regret this later, just ask her. She will agree with herself. Loudly. <laughs> now, Savannah, if she's mafia, and we know she's Mafia, which, sorry, man, it's pretty obvious. She will, every single time, sell her Mafia members out. However, we have developed an ingenious tactic. Sees red right through it, kills her every Works time. Every time. Every time. Bro back. Bro back for life. <laughs> Now, Jordan, you know, let's say she's Angel. She checks Eric first night. Mm. He's Mafia. Mafia will still win that round. Is that ironic? I don't know. Is it? And last, Joe's. You know, what is there to say but... Guys! No! You know, I'll never forget. I will never forget. I'll never forget. I'll never forget. I will never forget. You know, I'll never forget to always bring my exclude how beautiful you girls look at Senior Protocol. My roots. I may be leaving, but I'm just one walnut branching out into the foliage of life. The time that stripper came out of the wall. <laughs> to bring my cookies and my candies when I get off the bus. 
12 amazing years with you guys. I remember the first day of school last year, Carrie walks in and says, all right, who wants to give their testimony? And we all blankly stare at him, like, are you kidding me? Ah. But Rachel, you, in the back row, you, you raised your hand. He said, I'll, I'll give my testimony. You, I mean, sometimes you, you read your awesome books in the background and you tend to be shy, but this time you were, you were like, I want to talk about Jesus right now. shared the gospel with us right there. I remember you said, I, I get angry with people. I get angry with my brothers, with you guys, with my parents, and that's wrong. And Jesus' grace covers my sins, and he has changed my heart. And that is a day at school that I will never, ever forget. Thank you. You shared the gospel with me that day. Do you guys remember when we would watch Chuck all those Monday nights and just hang out a ton and watch movies? Josie, I remember how you were always the first person to offer your home, or when we were watching movies, you'd say, anybody want popcorn, I'll go fix you some, or have dinner at my house, I'll make you something. Just the way you show us when we hang out, just your servant's heart is incredible. You truly are an amazing servant, and you show it, and that's just incredible. Savannah, I can truthfully say, I'm so glad you stayed this year. You're an amazing, godly woman. And one thing that I love about you is that you're always honest. Now that's a trait that few people have, but it's gonna serve you so well. God has great things for you. And I hope you have a great four years at SPU. And thanks for staying. If I had to pick one song, I'd pick Mrs. Beaver. Higgs, Higby, Higgletree. You laugh at all my jokes. The good ones, the bad ones, the not so funny ones. Thank you for cheering me. Jordan, as I've gotten to know you over the years, I've just realized that you're really hardworking, you're diligent, and then you know how to party when you get out of school, and I'm really looking forward to seeing you for four years at SPU. Out of all the people I know, there's something unique about you, Kristen, that I find incredible. You have this love and a passion for Jesus and his gospel. When the Bible says, take my words to the ends of the earth, you're the first one to rise up and say, where's the list? Sign me up. I'll go, Jesus. I find that amazing. You're a awesome, godly, beautiful young woman, and you're going to go far in life. Jesus has big plans for you. Good luck in Austria. Savannah Camille Carlson. Rachel Marie McKee. Allison Lee Higby. Jordan Haley Cressa. Kristen Lee McMullen. Josephine Catherine Osborne. Thank you so much for these wonderful years spent together. We can't even begin to express how much each and every one of you mean to us. You're all so amazing. Thanks for all the great memories. We love you, girls.